and we're back to doing the thing. As I said, we didn't really do too much. I literally just got up and grabbed some water, and we're starting the next one. You know, that would have been great. I would have loved to have hunt the Pookie Pookie and got credit for that. So here's our investigations. Uh, as we do research and everything, we'll get more of these. Let's see. Is there anything that we can do? So, one of these camps, uh, we can just go ahead and do. Uh, they just need two iron ore and an ancient bone, and we've got that. So, we're good there. Uh, still need an Ajanath pelt and that. Moss swine hide. We've completed that, and we're not do we're not worried about that one. Um, okay. I still got a bunch of field research that I didn't do on the last one, just because, well, we were hunting Pookie Pookie. I might need to remap that button, because it's kind of weird to hit that, hit that particular button where, where it is. Uh, research levels. As you can see, we're we're getting up there with the Great Jagras. Um, Kuliyaku is not that not that high. We got the Pookie and the Ajanath. And fuck the Rathalos. No, bad Rathalos. No cookie. Um, but let's let's see what we got over at the weapon or armor place, and we'll go from there. Let's see, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, that's what I was going to check. Can I change that? Option. We can set it to auto sheath or keep our weapon out all the time. That's kind of neat. Let's see. Is there a use for that button? Oh, melee weapons. Oh. Oh, I'll have to try that. Because normally the shield... I think it would say... It said shield was the control button. But if I can use that middle mouse, mouse button, that'll be very useful too. We're gonna go up here... Then we're going to upgrade ourselves a piece of equipment. So, that was all fun, but there, there was a little bit of lack of explosions on that one. Yeah. And, you know, we'll, we'll eventually get to other things that, that, that also have explosions down here. But I think for this one, we'll try go for the gun lance um, we don't have enough monster bone M's to make one of the big bad ones down here otherwise that would be kind of fun oh earth crystals for the iron gun lance up here so 
we'll go ahead and upgrade. And we'll be bringing this with us on this run. Oh, that's another thing we should look at. Now, as we saw before with the sword and shield, there was a poison weapon. We need one more Pookie Pookie scale, and we can make that blooming knife. I'm guessing that's how you make blooming onions? Maybe? But we can also make armor. We got Kuluyaku armor with fire resist. At some point, this is a good one to have before we go fight that Ajanath. Because Ajanath does fire damage. And, well, Pookie Pookie would be okay, but if we do, if we want Pookie, we're gonna want to use a poison weapon just to get a little bit extra out of our seal. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. What we've got right now is okay, and we want to try and get some of those armor spheres and that moss swine that we've we were talking about before. So here's where some other things come in. Now, our assigned quest is this one, where we go to the Wildspire Waste. But we also have optional quests. We've done the optional quest for rank one. And we've got these two right here up in the three and we got scatter nut shortage which is hunter pookie pookie and you'll notice that we've completed them all but it's not gold in order to get the gold on there we have to capture monsters and fight them in the arena uh, it's just how the game works and then we have events we cannot do any of these events because this character is a little wimpy so what I'm thinking what we're going to do on this one is we're going to buy ourselves this. We got Feline Escape Artist. Let's come over here. We'll put some of this up and we'll depart on an expedition into the great into the ancient forest okay so there's a kulu yaku out there right now but there's also a rathalos and an ajnev it wants to kill me but we also have an endemic life researcher which that can give us some nifty quests. So we're going to start out the, at the beginning camp. Here we are again. And now you'll see we've got this weird, weird thing over there. Let's go ahead and draw our weapon. I'm gonna. Weapon that also fired shells. Oh. Find an opening and down your prey with wyvern's fire. So let's see. We've got. Yes, I know. I was testing something. So as you can see, we can do thrusts. Oh. Well, that looks painful right there. In order to reload, you hit that defense button. And you Ooh, Wyvern's Fire. Let's see what this does. That looks so cool. Oh. 
Okay, so that's just plain, plain old-fashioned shelling. And let's see what we've got. As you can see, we can fast travel to any of the places that we've to the camps. There's a up button. Oh, so it's on two layers. We haven't gotten that for ancient forest camp quite yet, so we can't really do anything with it. I don't know what that what what that exclamation point was doing. So, where we're actually going to go is we're going to go up we're gonna go this way. We're going to go up here because the moss swine is up in this area. But I don't know how to get to it from that camp over there. I know how to get to it from here. And if we happen to come across a Kuluyaku along the way, well... I think I know exactly what to do with Kuluyakus that get in my way. There's a birdie in my way. Maybe one of these. This. Oh, looks like we got another light crystal. Now, because of our research that we have going on, we also want to make sure that we collect as much. Oh, looks like we got a new, new investigation, too. We want to try and collect whatever we can. Because that'll help us in the long run with finding, with uh, finishing up all those, all those missions that I picked up before. And the more of those we have, the more armor spheres we have. The more armor spheres we have, the more we can we can deal with uh, upgrading our armor. It's a vicious cycle of upgrades. But I'm, I don't really feel quite ready to try to pick on that Ajanath quite yet. Eventually we will, when we will wreck his shit. We will hit him so hard that he will become a permanent resident of Shitwreck Island. Oh, okay. It was one of those, one of those little buggies. I'm okay with that. We like bugs. Oh, that needleberry. I don't care about. We'll grab another one of them. We'll grab the Kuluyaku footprints. Looks like Kuluyaku might be in this area. Could be wrong, because these are old footprints, so we might have started out over here. Now we have no idea where he is. Oh, here's another group. We'll get him there. But we also have the endemic life researcher. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> okay. So no new quests. Nothing new and interesting out of them, but it's always good to just 
you know that they have something for you when they have an exclamation point but figure what the heck we can be polite what is Kulu oh Kulu Yaku's all the way frick over there you can wait So our bar is not going up, so it doesn't help us to do pick up all of these. Looks like he went down that way when he did. Grab the herbs. Grab that. We're going up here. There's that moss swine you were trying to hunt. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize we one of our ones was a small monster clone, so looks like we got Rathalos gadgets. So now we're tracking the Rathalos too. Which is probably a good thing because we do not want Rathalos sneaking up on us. You, you wouldn't think that something that big could sneak up on us, but trust me when I say Rathalos is very good at just suddenly being right there and ready to kill everybody and their brother and their families. And it's just not a good time. So we're gonna go down over this way. So, unlike the other ones which roll, the evade on this is more of a sidestep or just generally dodging around. Oh. Well, that would be why. We, we now have a Jagras on our team and that you can't kill the Jagras because it is your friend. Who's coming this way? Do I really want to know? Bone pile. Now if you want, you can just fire in their faces too. That is an option. Hmm. The dragus ran over here. Ew. There's the Kulu Yaku. Oops. 
<laughs> that was pretty awesome. No. Oh, don't put it up. I need to reload. Looks like Kuyaku is running off. We still need to kill a couple more of these little guys. So we got that one done. Lord, let us check the other ones. Bounty mix. So we got the honey. We need to collect honey three more times. We've got those. Now we need to gather more insects. Well, we have a little bit of luck, because if I if we recall correctly, there's honey right out here. Now it's just a matter of finding the bugs. Looks like the little bitty Jagras came back. But that's okay. Oh, Ajanath footprint. Yeah, Ajanath can force some of these things open. There's a lot of times where you'll have. He's looking a little tired. Oh, wrong one. Oh, missed. But he is hungry. So, hungry monsters tend to be a little bit on the tired side. They don't. They don't use as many of their special abilities. They generally just. Generally, just a little easier to fight. Oh, yeah, he's an egg thief. Oh, 
Looks like our Jagras left us. Waiting for that shell to re redo its thing. <coughs> Reload that. Oh. As you can see, this, this is not really my main weapon of choice. It's fun, don't get me wrong, but it would take me a little bit to get used to it again. Which I will. If, if, if this is one of the weapons that you want to see, see used more often, I will be more than happy to use it. This is all about what's fun to watch. And seeing the crazy things. And we got a bitter bug. I did not realize the bitter bug was there. Now I know. Knowing is half the battle, the other half is violence. Oh. Ran me over. Limping off again. As you see, Ajnath went through here too. Oh, there's another bug. My bug. Got a spirally staircase thing. go now if you notice too every time we we shoot one of those giant wyvern fire things my the sharpness goes down thankfully we didn't have a ton of sharpness to start with but that's not the point. Sharpness went down. And we killed ourselves a Kulu Yaku this time. So, we've got that. Oh. We'll go back to the map. We can see where our Ajnath is going. Where's Rathalos? Oh, Rathalos is up there in his nest. So I'm more than happy to just not deal with Rathalos at all. We'll go shift and back to town. Let's see, what do we got? Kulu Yaku Plume. Beak, Monster Bone, Scale, and Hide. We'll take all of those. Ah, looks like he grabbed a couple of things for us. And we're slowly leveling up all our stuff. Now. 
you got a couple of bounties done, we'll go ahead and turn those in right away. And then we'll complete the delivery for this, which gives us the King Truffle up in the up in the canteen. We'll do one more thing. One more thing, Jackie. Let's check our field guide. So, we're s Ajnath is now up to research level 2. As you can see, we can now look at... Well, we can't do... T we can now look at what kind of rewards we'll get out of them. Um, for... If, if I can actually like not have the jitters with my hand, it'll, it'll work even better. So, if... If we break his head, or if we if he drops an item, it's going to be an Ajnath Fang. Break his legs, we get a free Ajnath scale. Uh, tail carves will give us a tail. Duh. And then other the above, the reward section is the stuff that we get at the very end of a battle. So, yeah, not so bad. That's all the rewards from Pookie Pookie. Blue and Great Jagras. Not a whole lot on my list right there. Just yet. But, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we will pet you. And there we go. And I think we'll call it a night. So, hope you had fun. And I know I always do. And we'll see you on the next hunt.